Uh, let's move to the Big Ten right quick. Look, this game last night, Michigan State and Nebraska. Michigan State gets the win 23-20 to in overtime. Of course, you give Adrian Martinez an opportunity, and he will lose the game for you, uh, which I hate to say that for him. But uh, you uh, know. but that, that's what happened, though. It's what happened. Michigan State could not run the football at all. 30 carries, 71 yards against this Nebraska defense. I think Nebraska's defense is pretty good. Like, yeah, I, Nebraska's I think, found a defense. They Thorne. played really well. We got the cover in that game, Gary, but yeah. – Shit, I wanted to win. If we, I'd have hit that one, oh. I, I was just glad to get the cover at the end because we both took uh, Nebraska plus five. Uh, yeah, and, and yeah. man, when they got it down there first and goal at the two in overtime, I said, God, look, we're going to lose this by a point. Like, this is ridiculous. Uh, Peyton Thorne, 14 out of 23, 183 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Threw his first interception of the year. He now has 10 touchdowns and one yep. pick. Adrian Martinez, no touchdowns passing, but he did have an interception. Of course, the one that cost them the game. But uh, yeah, it was the one that cost them. The it, game. They Nebraska forty nine carries for one hundred eighty seven yards, and they threw for two hundred fifty five yards. If you look at the team stats overall, Nebraska had four hundred forty two yards to only two fifty four. Here, Nebraska third down efficiency seven out of twenty. Michigan State was only one of ten. Uh, Michigan Nebraska was also two of two on fourth down, and Michigan State was zero of one. Uh, this game does not even get to, oh by the time of possession, by the way, which is. Kind of a meaningless stat. Yeah, but, 30, but it was 38 minutes for yeah. Nebraska to 22 for Michigan State. They didn't. They never really had the ball. If it was not for a punt return touchdown, 62-yard punt return with three minutes and 47 seconds left, which this kind of stuff just seems to happen. with. It doesn't matter who the Michigan State coach is. <laughs> it just seems to happen with them. I don't know what it is about Mel, Sparty. Mel Tucker, Mel uh, Tucker is doing what, what we kind of talked about last week. They look like an SEC team. They're winning with defense and special teams. Yes. yes. They're playing good enough offense to, A, not lose a game, to, B, control the line of scrimmage, protect their quarterback. Their quarterback's not making mistakes, and they're winning games with field position, defensive, and special team scores. I'm telling you that that team is is pretty damn good. Very rarely will they will they beat themselves. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And they're going to frustrate you until you make a mistake. They did it last week against Miami, and they did it this week. They waited. They played the patient game. This game was tight. This game was close. And they waited because they knew it was just a matter of time. If we keep giving Adrian Martinez opportunities at some point in time, he will cock it up. Yeah. And he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.